Hello, my name is Reg Andrews. I am visitation pastor at the People's Church. But as you can imagine, there isn't much visitation happening these days. We are, however, thankful for those who have stepped up and said, if there's anyone in our congregation that um, are in distress of any kind, needing help of any kind, that we are there, we want to make sure uh, that assistance is provided to anyone that is in need. And that's been very reassuring to us. And thank you so much for those who have stepped up and shown genuine concern for others in the body of Christ. Before the measures of constraint were introduced by our various government levels uh, concerning COVID-19, uh, our church really had already embarked on a prayer initiative. In fact, right through the Lenten season, uh, we joined a prayer movement called Seek God for the City. And every day for 40 days, we're going to be praying along with multiplied thousands in the body of Christ concerning specific areas of concern for the kingdom of God. And today's prayer targets homecoming of prodigals. We're going to be praying about that in a moment. It's also praying for the arts and entertainment world, particularly those who are Christian and getting the gospel out through various um, arts and entertainment means. And then we're also going to be targeting Central Asia today in our prayer for the uh, those in these geographic locations and countries that that need to be need to see again and burn even brighter the light of Christ uh, from the various churches and the various people on the ground that God would continue to do what He's already doing in those areas. So let's pray for the prodigals. The writer of this uh, program actually identifies Isaiah 60, verses 4 to 5. In the beginning of this prayer, he says, Lift up your eyes round about and see. These are the words of the Lord. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons will come from afar, and your daughters will be carried in the arms. Then you will see and be radiant, and your heart will thrill and rejoice. Let's pray. Our Father, we await your promise that many lost sons and daughters will be called back home. We have kept watch with those who are bereft of loved ones. We have grown weary in the watching for signs of their return. But if you lift our hearts, we will lift our eyes in hope. Your voice can summon them home from self-imposed exile. We pray for an early sign of this end-time homecoming to be seen in our homes. We mention the names of prodigal children specifically, and even runaway wives and husbands, that you, Lord, will bring them back to you. Carry them on your shoulders. Gather our families again. Reconcile children to their parents. Heal our marriages. Fill our homes with your abiding presence. And Lord, even as we pray this prayer, we're reminded that you are the good shepherd. Lord, you leave the ninety and nine that are secure in the fold, and you go for the one that has strayed. So Lord, that's reassuring to us today that you are reaching out. Your Holy Spirit is faithful to draw back those, Lord, who have strayed and bring them back into the fold again. So we pray for this wonderful work of your Spirit to take place in the homes of our congregation and other congregations throughout Canada, throughout the world. And Lord, we pray today for the arts and entertainment uh, world, the uh, particularly those, Lord, that serve you. Lord, they are gifted to, to convey truth in such dynamic and vibrant ways. I pray, Lord, that you will remove obstructions, resource them in the way that they need to be resourced, give them additional creativity, and also mix that with courage, that their will work, Lord, will bring strength, goodness, and hope to our communities. And today, Lord, we're thinking of the nations of Central Asia. Some of them are Kazakhstan, Latvia, Macedonia, Malta, Moldova, Montenegro, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, and there are others, Lord, in our list. We just ask that the light of your glory will shine in those nations, that they will see that God is real. And may this particular current global crisis result in hearts turning to the God of heaven. And may they find refuge in Jesus Christ. 
in, in whom alone is salvation. We pray for those, Lord, that are brothers and sisters are our brothers and sisters on the ground, faithfully serving you, sometimes uh, really in areas where they are at risk to even mention your name. We pray, Lord, for a cloak of protection around them and that renewed courage will spring forth in their hearts and they will be able to be instrumental in seeing a great harvest of souls come to you. So we lift up those nations to you today and thank you for your faithfulness. And for those that are watching today, that may they be reassured of the goodness of the grace of God, that you, Lord, are the master of every storm. You rise above every circumstance. You're greater than anything that confronts us today. You're greater than COVID-19. And we commit all those who are in distress over this global epidemic today, Lord, that we would look to you and find refuge and security and hope in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you.